Okay, so as you can see, my, my lab is wrecked uh, because I've been prototyping. And every time I prototype things, uh, it gets wrecked. So I have to clean this up. But I just wanted to shoot a quick video to show uh, part of the process of what we're doing. I, I like to listen to tunes uh, whenever I can. And it just doesn't do it over the headset or these little earbuds or anything like that. I'm an old guy and I have to have old people music with old people acoustics. So I have an old people stereo system back here in the corner. And it's just an old Kenwood tuner amplifier hooked up to a kicker box and puts out some pretty good tunes. The problem is uh, I have to put my phone or whatever I'm driving if I don't want to listen to the stereo. I'm gonna rock out, so, so to speak. I have to have my phone hooked up to it. Yeah, I know there's a big vacuum cleaner in the way. Um, so what I normally do is I wind up putting my phone over there and uh, my phone goes off and it's hooked up to the stereo and everything goes through it and it's painted the butt. So I thought, well, I want to put a dedicated tablet on that. But even then, I have to get up and I have to go all the way over there. And again, I'm old, I'm lazy, and uh, sometimes people call and I need to turn things down. So what I decided to do was make that tuner Bluetooth capable. And I could have gone out and I could have bought a module and just plugged it into the back. But it just seemed like it was lazy. I like to have everything internal and done. And of course, it's not like I don't have the you know the crap to do it. I definitely get this. Uh, you know, we could make some mods. So I did. And... This is what we did. I'm just going to give you a quick look here. Keep in mind, this isn't completed. This is just uh, mostly completed. We're doing some uh, circuit testing. And usually I have everything set up on a bipod, but obviously I need to move around, so that's not going to work today. So what we have is our tuner. Right now the power is uh, disconnected, but it is plugged in. Oh, excuse me, it's not plugged in. And I did that for a reason, so I'll show you these parts first. The uh, first part of it is the power supply. We wanted to dedicate a power supply, and that's what I have here. These are well, you can just like a, a 120 AC input. Uh, I think that one goes up to uh, 14 or 15 volts or something like that. Is the output? So this would be an AC to DC converter, inverter, and it has a output. The problem is, is that the output is a little bit too much to run this KRC board, which is our actual Bluetooth adapter. So without that, we don't have any Bluetooth connectivity. So we had to reduce that further down. So just below that, and it's really hard to see down there, but just below it is a buck converter, which will take that 12 volts that comes out of the power supply and take it down to a nice even five volts uh, regulated power supply. And since this is a switch mode, basically, basically it's a switch mode power supply. I was a little bit concerned with the EMI, so this is why I wanted to prototype everything up. We have our uh, AC power, which uh, that's the black and red set of loomed wires right here uh, that come back around. And that one of the gator clips I, I actually broke a solder wire. I, I didn't have it. I just kind of tacked everything on. It popped off. So I'm using a gator clip to hold it back on. But uh, so it's an independent power supply. So it's basically on standby power the way it's wired in right now. So if I plug this in, you're going to see the green light back here in the corner. It's not. There's actually two lights almost right on top of each other. You'll see the green light on the. Uh, power supply come on and then you're gonna see that Bluetooth light flash so it's one of the reasons I'm gonna put in a switch so that it has standby power but the Bluetooth won't actually engage until I flip the switch so I'm gonna plug this in and you'll see the green and then the blue green blue see of course the blue one's gonna flicker and of course now it's actually looking for a signal so we're gonna give it a signal now right now I have the audio jacks in the back uh, a shielded wire, that's why I use that, but it's this is also going to change. This, this shielded wire is going to get removed from the back. It's going to be wired underneath the circuit board into the proper uh, left, right, and ground uh, for the audio. And right now, I've got this selected on CD because they are plugged into the CD. So let's go to our YouTube royalty-free music. Well, actually, we need to connect our Bluetooth first, so I'm just going to go ahead and the Bluetooth button. Let's turn it on should be turning on and if you look down the list here here is our KRC 86B chip and that is what's actually wired on there and flashing so let's see how quick it connects and it's connected so our light stopped flashing we're connected shows that we're connected for media use I'll go ahead and listen to some swing time Let's go ahead and 
just jump to another one. Just to show you, it's there's nothing connected. This is the Bluetooth. So uh, that's a horrible song. I'll try another one. Yeah, I kind of hate it, but I like it at the same time. So do I want to turn it down? Sure. Why not? So that's also a pretty cool little feature. You don't have to have any extra wires hooked up for that with that KRC chip. It's just going to automatically do it for you. And then of course we can adjust it with our regular volume knob as well. So, so basically in a nutshell that's it. That old Kenwood stereo tuner or Pioneer or whatever you got as long as you have a little extra space. And by the way there's no, no hicc hiccups, no popping. I'm going to crank this way up for a second. Let's see if we get any hum. Pretty much dead quiet. There is not a lot coming out of that speaker at all. I got very, very, very little hum. Really low. So, and if you turn the volume down just a little bit to a comfortable level, which this, I mean, this is way too loud. If I have this uh, turned all the way up, you're going to get a lot of it's going to be loud ready there's some noise for you so if i just turn it down to a reasonable level there's no hum you got none so i can go ahead and turn it back down with the stereo or with the uh, uh the phone so there we go so this is this will be when it's finished this will be completely higher hardwired in there's going to be no external nothing there is going to be a switch on the outside and i'm probably going to move that indicator that blue indicator light so that i can see it uh, then obviously if i look across the room and see that i don't have a blue light well no wonder i'm not connected to it but uh, i haven't actually figured out where in the case i'm going to put that yet i kind of thought about putting it in the back only because i don't want to destroy the plastic on the front of this i can make it look a lot better on the back side it'll be right uh, next to where uh, where our power supply is at so Anyway, pretty cool little project. I'm I'm really happy with it. it turned out pretty good. Well, so far it has. We'll see if I'd, uh, I might be able to nuke it before this is all over. So, okay, there you go. Uh, as always, have a wonderful day in YouTube land. I'm going to go back to prototyping something that's actually important. But.